Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I have a card for you that is actually a card that was part of the application process that I did for being on the stamping hunky dory design team and I got through to part two. I've actually now found out I've succeeded completely so yay to me but this was part two and they sent out all the these items not the little googly eyes but all the stamps and the card and tape and all sorts for me to make some cards so this is one of the two cards that I sent into them so for this one I am making a circle card and I took two dies that would mat and layer and I took the smaller of the two and I'm marking that onto the ink me card stock that came with the stuff that was sent to me um, just so that I could know where roughly you know the size of the layer was going to be for when I'm doing my stamping I then stamped the sentiment um, followed by stamping all the donuts because this stamp set was all donuts just so cute um, and I stamped them all over that circle um, using a very pale tan coloured ink I was going for this no line drawing sort of idea so I'm just randomly putting them all over that uh, circle obviously you can see I'm going past the edge of the circle that's not going to matter because obviously I'm going to die cut that out now the stamp set came with all different toppings that you could put on the uh, sort of flatter uh, donut so I also stamped those onto them they come in like halves and then you uh, stamp them on and then you can turn it around and stamp it onto the other half as well and again for that I use the light colored ink I realized that it's not going to show significantly when I start the coloring but I hoped that it would just give me some guidance for the coloring so that was that all stamped I then also stamped out one each of the two donuts which was also part of my idea for the designs and then lastly it came with some little sh letters on the stamp set spelling out the word love which I also stamped so there it was all done and now it's time to get to the coloring you are the icing on my cake you are the smile I can't replace who you are, you are The way you smile, the way you laugh, the way I can't help but catch your Uh 
has turned out so gorgeous so now I need to die cut that layer out so I just rough cut round it and then I've put the circle die back in position I'm just holding it down with a bit of tape even though I've got a magnetic platform because I just want to be sure it stays in place and then I'm popping it through to die cut out all the rubbishy bits off the edge and leaving me with a gorgeous layer for my card and I think it looks so stunning especially when you cut that all out so now I want to add the sprinkles onto the card this is where that uh, stamping those um, toppings did help because I use those they're very lightly showing through and I use those as to where to position the little dots for my glossy accents and then all I did was take a variety of different glitters and sprinkle them i did one at a time because otherwise they would just get in a right mess unless you want to create like a, a whole different bundle of colors on your table i would suggest you do them individually and then just to take any excess off um give it a second and then just wipe it with your brush there and then as i say do each one at a time don't leave it and then brush it at the very end so then i needed to create well basically I'm going to create two little animations on the two separate donuts so uh, what I did was I drew around the position of where I thought well the two donuts and positioned them where I thought they would be on the card uh, and that's what those are should be roughly in the right position for those two donuts I then drew on them two little arms on my little uh, vellum copy and then I did the typical Charles technique of putting the pencil on the back and then drawing that through onto my actual donut so that I could know exactly the the shape and position of the arm uh, before I went in with my marker because obviously to go in having done all that colouring with a marker and do it sort of freehand was just a little scary so I figured that that would be the best way to do it so I did that on both the pink one here and then on my blue one as well I'm going to come back to using those little uh, drawings in due course as well because I'm going to need them again but for now we're going on to just die cutting out my little sentiment there and also cutting out by hand the donut and then for the middle I just used a craft knife and just cut that carefully go through it slowly don't try and go through the first time just kind of make a groove and then just keep going round and round until you get through I then took my markers and just gently went round the inner circle and also the outer circle where I cut the, the donuts out and just got rid of those white edges because it just looks so much better you can see there where I've gone round the edge on the brown as well it just looks so much better not having that white edge now you'll see here I've also cut out all the letters those are by hand you'll also notice this half a donut I actually end up not using that so just ignore that bit pretend it's not there so next we are cutting another layer in the white ink me cardstock using the same size die the smaller of those two and then also I'm taking another circle to go in the center now the two dies there that you can see the smaller one was the one that I used for the sentiment so I'm taking a slightly larger one so it's like a mat size up you know as if you're matting and layering it's just that amount up in size so it's literally just the next big one bigger and then I'm going to position it in the middle of the larger circle uh, die there now I've stuck the larger one down again even though I have ma um, magnetic I want to be sure that it's absolutely perfect I just marked out using my ruler the center of the die the larger die and then I'm positioning just by eye the uh, smaller die and again just sticking that down and this basically is going to create a another layer um, but as you can see I've kind of created a donut style layer um, but I'm going to be putting my sentiment in now this is where we get back to my vellum donuts <laughs> and this is where it gets to helping me position them so I was playing around with the arms that were coming out from the donuts and the first ones that I did didn't quite work and you'll also notice that the actual donuts are going to overlap the sentiment so I had to take into account where they were as well so then I did exactly the same thing as I did before 
what I once I sorted out the position of the arms and also the legs I just scribbled on the back flipped it over and then drew them onto my actual card layer and that obviously transfers that pencil onto the layer behind onto my actual layer and then I can take my marker and just go over where those have drawn you can see they've come out quite strong and so I can easily see it and just go over the top with this marker it's a, a fine bullet point one it's just um so it's nice and easy to draw it covers up the pencil on the whole although I do suggest that actually you do go afterwards and just go back and erase any pencil because I found even when you cover it it kind of does show through the pencil uh, the marker you can kind of see the the shininess of the lead pencil so I would suggest you just go in afterwards and erase that off and also if there's any bits sticking out the edge it's obviously a much neater look um, so that was done and they're obviously going to be the legs and arms of my donuts which I've created going to use as a character but before I got to that I wanted to donut <laughs> size my actual layer I, I mean that's not even a word is it but anyway so I took some of the glossy accents um, and I've just put it around the edge and I've got these gorgeous little pink bouillon beads they're like a real candy um, sort of oh they're just what you those little beautiful um hundreds and thousand type things that you actually get on donuts and it was exactly like it in this beautiful candy pink so I've just gone all the way around the edge and then I've gone around the inner edge as well um a bit later I realized I missed the bit at the bottom because I was thinking I didn't need to do that because the donuts would be there but actually I do fill that in later but um then I really wanted to add even more and since it was going to say love on the card with those little um donuts that letters that we cut out I decided that it would be fun to actually add hearts on there now I don't know if you can quite see that yet it went on a little bit grouped so what I did was um, just move them around a little bit so you could see the hearts and just thin them out so that it was less sort of clumpy and that worked really really well now hunky dory also sent me some of their beautiful craft card stock so i took the larger of the two circle dies and i cut out two of the circles in that size from the craft card stock i i'm actually going to create um an easel card so to do that i decided to do the mechanism slightly different to how we normally do because it's a circle card so the first thing i've got here is a piece of the craft card stock i cut it to two and a half by seven and then you want to score it at two inches from the zero mark and then two inches from the other side so at the five inch mark on here and you're going to score it on so the two inch and the five inch point now craft card does have a right side and a wrong side and with this one it's very obvious which that is because the darker color is very much significant so you want to fold these uh, using your score tool to do that and you want to fold them in towards the wrong side both of them and this is creating our mechanism for our easel card now because I'm doing this easel on a circle card I did need to create some little cutouts on my mechanism here that I'm using so for that I actually use my envelope puncher but any punch that would cut really anything that you could just cut a little bit of a notch into your card at the point where the fold is it, it doesn't really even matter what shape it is it could be like little squares any sort of punch that just takes those in a bit it just made it sit better against the circle and you'll see that in in a due course when you get to see how I put the mechanism together you can see how having those little notches cut just makes it a little bit better the way it sits so then using some of this hunky dory tape which also was sent to me and I have to say I was really impressed with it I'd not used this before and I am definitely going to be using it again I put it on both ends but I'm just unpeeling it on the end with the notches I'm lining the score line up with the top on each side of with my circle and then I'm sticking it down so next we need to connect the other circle to this card in order to make it an easel card so I've taken the backing off the tape I then am laying my mechanism completely flat and don't worry about any bits of the corners of the mechanism that are poking out past the circle and then you're going to line the other circle right side up 
exactly matching the circle below and then just stick it down as I say don't worry that there are a couple little corners popping out because we're literally going to just take our scissors right now and just snip those edges off now if you've done it depend it may vary depending on the size of the circles um I would suggest that and if your circles are significantly larger than this you would have to adjust the mechanism size anyway the circle size here is approximately five inches and that's what that mechanism has worked for um, at those dimensions now obviously at the moment the mechanism is showing on the base part of our easel card but that's what our layer was that we colored all those donuts were four so I've split that roughly about two thirds but just guide it to what you think looks right for how upright you want your easel card to be to the front part of that uh, layer I added foam squares and you want to very carefully make sure that it is parallel to the front of your mechanism there because that's what is the straight line um, so that your easel will stand straight and then and once that's done and and stuck and nice and straight I'm taking the back half and this time just using regular uh, double-sided tape that's flat um, not any dimension at all and then sticking that down and carefully lining up the donuts so that it gives the illusion that there's actually not a split and if when you look at it you actually barely notice that but it just gives you this great um, easel stop so that it holds your card upright I'm next I'm adding some tape and foam to the various elements so I'm adding tape to my sentiment foam to my little letters and my donuts and also to my donut ring that I created in the white uh, ink me card and I am then sticking first the uh, layer that I created using as I say foam tape onto the front of my easel there but you want to again you want to just keep checking it before you absolutely finalize sticking it down because you want to make sure it's in the right position that it's uh, you know lined up correctly then I'm adding my sentiment which was used in flat tape into the center of that donut and then next I'm adding my little donut characters to their arms and legs and just carefully lining it up so they're in the right position to the arms and legs but also not covering up any of the sentiments so you just need to fiddle around with that and get the arms in the right angle and just play around and make sure it's all correct and that is the advantage of doing the arms and legs that are on the background just that little bit longer because it gives you a little bit of wriggle room to get those in the right place because even though we did it with the vellum it's never quite as you expect and next um, I'm just adding those little letter donuts onto the front to say the word love and that's so cute and then the final touch which I think is just adorable and just makes them is the googly eyes and I just stuck those on using the glossy accents but what you'll notice I did was I used one large eye at, on the inside edge and then a smaller eye on the outside edge and that's giving it dimension it's making it look like they are going away from you if you use two eyes the same size you would lose that effect and that is it that is the first card that I sent in to Hunky Dory as my second stage application process as I said I'm super happy to announce that I actually succeeded and I am on their design team and as I said earlier there is one other card that I made for the application process and I will share that with you in the future however for now that is it I hope you have enjoyed don't forget to go on across to my blog link in the paragraph below this video to take a look at all the photos you'll get such a better view of it and of course as always links to products used thanks so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye for now bye you are the icing on my cake you are the smile I can't replace you are you are The way you smile, the way you lie